Hi everyone and welcome to this final video of my um, Hobbit's Guide to Walking Tracker. So as you know I've just started a new bullet journal this month and as I was looking around for ideas I came across this um, Hobbit's Guide to Walking by Nerd Fitness. Basically, someone's taken the time and calculated exactly how many miles Frodo and Sam would have walked to Mount Doom to destroy the ring. And then the mileage back, you know, of course they've deducted the times from when the eagles carried them part of the way. Um, so I actually decided that since I have been lacking a little in my walking after moving out of the city, uh, I would try this walking to Mordor. So what I'm doing here is drawing out a tracker for the first stage of the journey from uh, Hobbiton, Bag End, to Rivendell, which is 458 miles total. So kind of a lot of miles. Um, the whole journey from Bag End all the way to Mount Doom and Mordor is 1,700 79 miles, which is a whole lot of miles. Uh, so what they've done is broken them down into uh, four different stages from Bag End to um, Mount Doom. And they're a little more feasible. <laughs> they're still all over 300 miles each. And most of them, three of the four, are over 400 miles. So It'll take a little while, especially since I'm not doing something like 18 miles a day like Sam and Frodo. Um, but it's a nice little quest to keep me interested in it. So what I actually did to help make this a little more festive was go to aonchallenge.net um, and there they have broken down not only the exact mileage to Mount Doom, but also the sort of neat things, um, important moments on the journey. So everything from the first time they see a black rider to Tom Bombadil coming in to save them or reaching the prancing pony, or as I was most excited about them actually seeing Bilbo's trolls. Let's admit, those are pretty cool. Um, so since there were so many neat things I wanted to include and there were lots of details, um, I went through and sketched this all out in pencil first, first kind of dividing out how I would fit 458 miles on my spread and then penciling in back end and fun things like that. And what you've been seeing so far is after I've penciled that in, I'm going back in with black um, micron markers. I use uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01 here. Um, so I trace the outline of the path and then the lines and give some little details for fun to give my hand a break before I go back in and actually um, number every single square. This video has been sped up anywhere from four to eight times the original speed. It took me, so it took me well over two hours to plan and sketch and then ink and color this tracker. It was a lot of fun and very relaxing, but yeah, it took a while. Um, so keep that in mind as you're watching how quickly this goes in case you decide to make your own tracker. Don't get discouraged. It takes a while, but fun things often do. So, and especially if, it, for like for me, it's a relaxing thing. It's more of a treat to spend that much time um, sketching and inking something out. So uh, once I go through and ink everything, get all my numbers in, and then erase out the numbers and all my pencil marks. Um, you'll see I pull out some colored pencils. These are not um, any special colored pencils. 
the nicest ones in the pack are Crayolas. Um, <laughs> it's just this sort of stash of colored pencils I have accumulated over my life. Um, so a lot of them don't even have a brand on them. I have no idea where I got them. Um, I really wanted to do this in watercolor, but because I um, am bullet journaling in a look term, I'd need to be really careful to go super light on my watercolors. I just didn't feel comfortable risking it on this spread. You know, maybe for the next spread, Rivendell, Lothlorien, I'll feel brave enough, but um, for now, I stuck to colored pencils. With the exception of um, you'll see that I use two markers for Rivendell. Um, those are Copic markers. Uh, the numbers for those colors are listed below. I don't remember them right off the top of my head. Um, I just wanted something sort of light and silvery and bluish um, for Rivendell. Um, and then you'll also see that I will go in and make some highlights and accent things with another pen. That is a metallic G2 um, gel pen. It came in a pack with a silver and metallic blue that I got on clearance somewhere <laughs> once upon a time. It's a lot of fun to use. It's not necessarily as thick or as bold as um, a lot of the Uniball gel options, but I enjoy it. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed and continue to enjoy watching this and that it gives you some inspiration for um, tracking in your bullet journal or inspires you to take the quest to destroy the one ring with me. If you decide to join, I would you know, love to hear about it in the comments. Every quest needs companions. Um, so enjoy and I look forward to sharing more from my journal with you soon. Bye!